In this video, we're going to go over how to activate the wireless on the tool and sync it with the mobile app. When you first purchase your OptiCam tool, you'll need to register it at Panduit.com. If you're in a country that has Bluetooth certified, you'll be able to get a password and be able to activate your device. If you're in a country that does not have Bluetooth certification, you won't be able to get that password. If you've gotten that password successfully, simply go to the tool, the settings menu, Scroll down to Tool Settings, go to Wireless, and you'll click On. If I'm activating the wireless for the first time, that's where it'll ask me for that six character password. Since I've already activated the wireless on this device, I'm going to simply turn it on. Now when I go back to my main menu, you can see that the Bluetooth icon is now active, it no longer has the line through it. The next step is to open up your Panduit Connected app. The first thing you're going to want to do is set up a project file, entering the installer's name, the customer project name, and the location, such as the closet in which you're working, the room, floor, what have you. You have two options at this point. You can either create a new project file or if you're picking up where you've left off earlier, you can select the project file and go back into that job. In this instance, I'm going to create a new project file. When I drag down, it searches for all Bluetooth devices. And I see OptiCam in the list, and that's what I'll pick. If I'm in a room with several OptiCam devices that are active, I'll need to know which is the name of the particular tool I'm using. Earlier tools ship with the title simply OptiCam. Later tools will ship with the title OptiCam and the last five digits of their serial number. The way to find out what your tool is named is to go back up to Settings, Tool Settings, Tool Name. I note here that mine is called OptiCam 6. I could rename this at this point if I wanted to to personalize it or serialize whatever is convenient. I simply note that it's OptiCam 6. And I'm going to go back to the main menu. So now I'm going to select OptiCam 6 by touching that line and it'll connect. The first thing to note is the Bluetooth icon has appeared on the same line as that tool. This message that pops up says unsync data on the tool. What this is telling me is that I've done terminations on the tool when it was not synced to the mobile app. The app is asking me if I want to add those terminations to the project file I'm creating. In this instance, since I'm starting fresh, I'm going to hit cancel and start new. So now that I'm connected, I'll hit start project. At this point, I can change the prefix, such as what I would like the connector identification to be. I will name my connectors IDF. I'll have the start number match up, say, to a port number. We'll call it 1 and then I'll leave the increment at 1. That means each individual termination that I do will be IDF 1, 2, 3, etc. You also have the option to change the settings here if you should so choose. Mainly just want to make sure they match what you've got on the tool. Since everything looks good, I'll hit save and start my project. You can see on the app, the load connector button matches the load connector message on the tool. Now from this point to start the termination process, I can either press the button on the app or on the tool. They both work in synchronization with each other. So hit load connector here. The tool does its background test as normal, then goes to the insert fiber screen. You can see the message is mirrored on the app. The form factor of the connector is matching and the color is matching. This is a redundancy to show you that all the settings match. I'm going to go ahead and do the termination by inserting the fiber into the insertion tube as normal. Advance the fiber until it's mated. The tool says cam and test, which matches the message on the app. So I'm going to go ahead and cam the connector, and I can either press the button here to test or perform test here. Now you can see the tool has given me the pass icon as well as the calculated insertion loss value. Pass icon matches here, as well as the calculated insertion loss value there. Just as with the icons on the bottom of the screen here, such as Next, Retest, or Cancel, I've got the same buttons on the app. If I like that, that insertion loss value, I'll hit Save and move to the next one. 
If I want to retest it for whatever reason, I press that button, or if I feel that value is too high, I can re-terminate, at which point I would uncam the connector, re-prepare the fiber, and start over again. I think point one is pretty good, so I'll hit save to advance to the next connector. You can see the IDF2 on the bottom, indicating that I've gone to the next connector in sequence, and I'm ready to keep going. I hit load connector here or on the tool and proceed with my terminations. When I'm done with the job, I'll go to this file menu, select project file, and there will be a list of the files which I have compiled here. I'll select the one we just started and it'll give me three options. I can hit select to go back into that project file and continue doing terminations. I can delete it if I'm done with it or I can share it. By selecting share, we'll use the native email apps on the phone and you could share it with whatever. I'll use my Outlook, it compiles the file as a CSV and I can email that to whoever I need to.